Hey, how are you? We will talk about cardiac function curve today. First, you need to know you have um, you have this heart, which is basically stop heart, or the cardiac output here is zero. And and just just makes sense, guys. If the cardiac output zero, sorry for that. If the cardiac output zero, that means the blood volume in the heart will be just accumulated. That's why and diastolic volume will be high. And why and diastolic volume will be high? Because the cardiac output zero, there is no pumping. There is no pumping. That's why the blood accumulated. If the end diastolic volume zero, uh, high, sorry, this is the main indicator or the main parameter for mean circulatory filling pressure. That's why mean circulatory filling pressure will be high. Filling pressure will be high. It's mean circulatory filling pressure will be high because of end diastolic volume high. Whenever you have more volume in the cavity, the volume just compress and the, and the pressure will be high in the heart. And now when you'll go up, right, atrial pressure will be also what? High, because it simply just accumulated the blood. And don't forget there is another system that usually connected, or that always, always connected to the heart, which is the venous system. That's why the venous pressure will be also high. Will be also high. So the venous pressure is the same as right atrial pressure, the same as end diastolic volume, the same as mean circulatory, circulatory filling pressure. All of them are high except the cardiac output is zero and makes sense because the heart is not pumping. If you make a reverse or makes the heart working, now this is the, the case where the heart working and if the heart working that means I will have what? Pumping action of the heart so I hear my cardiac output will be 5 liter which is normally. If the cardiac output 5 meters, still there is blood volume in the heart, but usually it's less. That's why end diastolic volume will be less. And this is usually all the rest our end diastolic volume usually 150 milliliter, which is just normal. And also means circulatory filling pressure will be even less. Right atrial pressure will be less and less. Sometimes right atrial pressure, I think it's a kind of zero or Two less, maybe two to a uh, usually two to eight millimeter mercury. Okay, so of the right atrial pressure less, that means the venous pressure also will be less. So all of them will be low, but the cardiac output will be five, which is high, which is normal cardiac output. So if you get that, you can now transmit this important concept to the uh, cardiac function care. But what I would like to, to know. When the cardiac output zero, that means stop heart, now all the pressure, all the pressure will be high because there is no pumping action of the heart. And the most important one is right atrial pressure, venous pressure, mean circulatory filling pressure, all of them the same. If the cardiac output is uh, five, which is normally, which is normally, that means the right atrial pressure will be low. This is usually two to five, two to eight millimeter mercury. Right, which is the same as end diastolic volume will be also low 150, mean circulating filling pressure which is the same, venous pressure also which is low, so all of them will be low. Okay, so let's transmit this um, this screen or this slide to the cardiac function curve. Okay, so what is cardiac function curve or vascular function curve? For any curve you have to know you have y axis and x axis, right? So this is the, sorry. This is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. The x-axis is right atrial pressure, while the y-axis is the cardiac output. This is first. We said normally, cardiac output here is what? Zero. Right? Makes sense. This is cardiac output zero. Here the cardiac output around two. Here the cardiac output around five. Here is a tricky point. If the cardiac output is zero, how much my right atrial pressure? Don't choose right atrial pressure is also zero. No. Because you know from the previous slide, if the cardiac output is zero, that means all the pressure will be what? High. And simply because of combination, that's why you will choose this point. Okay. Maybe it's a kind of confusion, but you will get it. Once the cardiac output will be zero, right atrial pressure will be high around 20. If the cardiac output started to increase to 2 liter, that's why now my right atrial pressure around 15. Look what happened to the right atrial pressure. It's less in comparing to 20. And if the cardiac output reached 2.5 liter, that's mean now my, my right atrial pressure point just intersected 
my right atrial pressure point will amount to, to 8 or 6 millimeter mercury, which is normally the right atrial pressure, atrial pressure point. And finally, after this cardiac output 5, after, the, the, after this point of intersection, right, the right atrial pressure will be, will be low, lower if the cardiac output will increase. So, what is the point here? This point, which is the point of my cardiac performance, it is usually or it's always the point of intersection of the cardiac output with right atrial pressure point. So my heart is working on that point. Sorry. My heart is working on that point. At that point also you have another interesting curve which usually started like that. And this is the contractility curve. This is the contractility curve, started from here, here, down, all the way down. The contractility curve, because, wait a second, because for cardiac output you need, you know, main determinant of cardiac output is what? You need good preload, which is basically end diastolic volume, and you need also contractility. Contractility. So this is the contractility curve. Contractility curve, all of this curve means the same contractility. That means contractility at the point A is the same as contractility at the point B. It's the same. Contractility curve is the same. But this point of intersection represent good, it represent my ideal contractility with my ideal right atrial pressure with my, uh, that's why my cardiac output will be really ideal. So again, if you, the only way to study cardiac function curve, just imagine the heart first stop and the heart stop, that means right atrial pressure will be high. Once the heart starts to pump, 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 now pumping, pumping, pumping action of the heart, right atrial pressure starts to decrease, 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 and to reach to this point, which is the point of intersection between the cardiac output and right atrial pressure, right atrial pressure will be around 6 millimeter mercury, and this is the point where my heart or your heart works on, okay?